Namibia is a country in the southern part of the African continent, made up of 824 292 square kilometers of long coastline, vast arid sandy desert, beautiful mountains and rivers. It is referred to as the hidden gem of Africa due to its surprising beauty and mystique which is partly remains undiscovered. The country is blessed with vast natural and human resources as well as beautiful towns and it makes one of the preferred places to live in. Welcome to Sizzle's Diaries. So in this video, I'll be looking at 11 towns and city to live in Namibia for 2021. Before then, help support this platform by watching, liking and commenting on our videos. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Taking up the 11th spot today on this segment is Katima Mulilo. Katima Mulilo is the capital of the Great Zambezi region in Namibia. It is located in the Caprivi Strip and has an estimated population of about 28,000 inhabitants. The nearest town to Katima Mulilo is Rundu and it's about 500 kilometers away. About 40 kilometers east of Katima Mulilo lies the village of Vukalo where the road to Ngoma branch off and join Namibia to Botswana. Katima Mulilo is also located along Namibia's border with Zambia. The town is within the wildlife sanctuary of the Babwata National Park. It is one of the inexpensive towns to live in, given the reasonable cost of housing, utilities and basic amenities. If you are interested in a career in trade or passionate about agriculture, aquaculture and biodiversity, Katima Mulilo offers plentiful opportunities in those areas. Compared to other towns on this list, Katima Mulilo is developing in areas such as healthcare, corporate governance and infrastructure. Number 10. Grootfontein Grootfontein is the second largest town after its regional capital Ochivarongo in north central Namibia. It was named after a large hot spring and has an estimated population of about 23,000 inhabitants. It is one of the three towns in the Golden Triangle situated on the B8 National Road that leads from the towns of Otavi, Sumeb, all the way to the Caprivi Strip. Like all the towns in the Golden Triangle, Grootfontein is very green in summer but dry in winter. The vegetation is rich and hosts a variety of indigenous plants such as the Devil's Claw which is world renowned for its medicinal properties. Grootfontein serves as the agricultural town of the region. Big and small livestock auctions are held here on a regular basis with some imported or traded at slaughter homes across the country. Namibia is world renowned for its quality beef and meat products, majority of which come from the Golden Triangle towns. Enana comes in at number 9 on the list. Enana is the second most northern town in Ohangwena region and is located about 90 kilometers from the border with Angola. It is the administrative capital of Ohangwena region and is located northeast of Ukwanyama Palace. The palace is home to Queen Martha Mwadinomo Christian Nelumbu, Queen of the Kwanyama dynasty. Enana is considered as one of the first emerging towns in the country in terms of town planning, infrastructure, housing and education. Number 8. Ondangwa Ondangwa is one of the large and most populated towns located in northern Namibia with an estimated population of about 23,000 inhabitants. 
The town is located in the heart of Ondonga Kingdom, ruled by King Philemon Shumbwa Nangolo, successor to King Emmanuel Kauluma Eliphas. Ondangwa is about 60 kilometers from the Angolan border along the B1 road. The town is home to some of the top performing schools in the country, as well as an airport, shopping malls, a private hospital, government hospital, and many other amenities that can improve quality of life. Ondangwa is known as the business hub of Northern Namibia. This is where many entrepreneurs come to find success. The cost of living is a bit low compared to city like Winduk, but you will have to dig deeper in your pockets for the cost of housing and utilities. Coming in at number seven is Ochivarongo. Ochivarongo is a town in central Namibia with an estimated population of about 28,000 inhabitants in the Ochozanjupa region of Namibia. It is a big business center in the region and connects to towns between Winduk and the Golden Triangle of Otavi, Tsumeb, Khrotfontein, as well as the Itosha National Park. Ochivarongo is one of Namibia's fast growing towns with a neat and peaceful environment, excellent facilities including supermarkets, banks, lodges and hotels. The town is home to some of Namibia's best known private game farms and nature reserves as well as a prime spot to consider for retirees. Ochivarongo is one of Namibia's town with a large population of German-speaking people. Ochivarongo offers opportunities for farming enthusiasts on a commercial and communal scale. Coming in at number 6 is Oranyemund. Oranyemund is a small mining town of about 4,000 inhabitants situated in the Karas region in the extreme southwest of Namibia, close to the northern banks of the Orange River mouth at the border with South Africa. The town was run by Namdeb, formerly the Consolidated Diamond Mines, which is now a subsidiary of De Beers. Access to Orange Moon was restricted to employees and their relatives. Its infrastructure is beautiful due to the fact that it does not depend on cost recovery from its inhabitants. If you want peace and quiet after a long day on the job or school, Oranyemund is the place for you. It is the ideal place to raise a family and retire because of the quality of life and safety. It features a large recreational complex with swimming pools, cinema, restaurants, and bar. Water is still provided free of charge and as of 2016, after its proclamation as a town in 2011, residents started paying electricity. Coming in at number five is Ludritz. Ludritz is a harbour town in the Karas region of southern Namibia. It lies on one of the least hospitable coasts in Africa and is a port developed by Robert Harbour and Shark Island. The town is known for its historical architecture, including some arts, wildlife such as seals, penguins, flamingos and ostriches. The town is named after Adolf Ludritz, a controversial colonial figure. Just outside Ludritz lies the ghost town of Kolmanskop, a prominent tourist destination. This is previously a bustling diamond town and is now abandoned and fights the constant struggle against being buried under the shifting sands of the Namib desert. This is a small town of around 18,000 inhabitants and has a lot to offer for those who venture there. From the Crayfish Festival, exploring Diaz Point and Shark Island. 
Ludrets is a dream location for avid historians and archaeologists. If you are the type of person who enjoy discovering mystique and wonders of the world, Ludrets offer plenty opportunities in this area. The fourth spot goes to Ongwediva. Ongwediva is a town in the Oshana region north of Namibia. It is the district capital of Ongwediva electoral constituency with an estimated land area of 4,102 hectares. Ongwediva has seven churches, two private schools, 13 government-run schools, two state clinics, and a state-of-the-art private hospital. Ongwediva is considered as one of the large entertainment towns in Namibia and is fast emerging as a town to live in, in terms of infrastructure, quality of life, job, and entrepreneurial opportunities. The town is also home to the popular Ongwediva trade fair, Oshana Mall, Benny's Park, to name a few. Ongwediva is making strides to be the industrious town by creating a conducive environment for trade and investment. Wafish Bay takes up the third spot on our list. Wafish Bay is a coastal town in western Namibia and it takes up the name from the bay in which it lies. It is the second largest town in the country covering a total area of 29 square kilometers of land. The bay is a safe haven for sea vessels and the only one of its size in the country's coast. The bay is rich in marine life and plankton. These waters also draw in a large number of southern white whales. If you like extreme adrenaline pumping sports, this is the place to be. Home to June 7, Artificial Bird Island, Skeleton Coast, Saltworths, and Langstrand, it is the important center of tourism activity in Namibia. Coming in second is Swakopmund. The town is situated in the Namib Desert and is the fourth largest town in Namibia. Swakopmund is a beach resort with German style architecture. The town is located around 352 kilometers west of Namibia's capital Windhoek on the B2 main road and it is the capital of the Erongo administrative region. The town has about 44,000 inhabitants and covers around 196 square kilometers of land and it is home to one of Namibia's most visited tourist spots the Namib Desert and Cape Fur Seal Island. As the community of Swakopmund continues to flourish, so does its economy. And if you are a fan of cool weather, sandy beaches, and living in a town that never shorts of adventure, then Swakopmund is the place for you. Coming in at the top of the list is Vantuk. Vantuk is the capital largest and only city of Namibia. The city is widely known for its nightlife, numerous hotels, clubs and casinos, catering to people within its limits as a way of relaxation from hectic corporate world. Wintok is ranked as one of the cleanest cities and most beautiful in Africa. Most residents are from other areas of Namibia drawn to the city for job, education, entrepreneurship opportunities. Located in central Namibia in the Comas Highland Plateau area at around 1,700 meters above sea level with an estimated population of around 431,000, the city offers its residents a suburban view. Most residents rent out their homes and flats around the CBD and move to the popular suburbs of Academia, Pioneers Park, Hockland Park, Comasdal and Katutura to name but a few. Young families are finding it increasingly hard to 
to buy a home at a reasonable cost in Vantuk. Vantuk is the most vibrant city in Namibia and it is well on its way to becoming an international business hub for Sub-Saharan Africa. However, Vantuk does have its ups and downs. There is a lot of traffic, high cost of living than much of the other places in the country. Thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next video. Bye besties.